Hail Mary. So in the Catholic Church, there are only three people we celebrate their conception. Jesus and in his incarnation, which is exactly nine months before. Mary and her immaculate conception, which is exactly nine months before her birthday too. And then also John the Baptist, which is nine months before his birthday, which is in June. So figure it out. With that said, my parents didn't say, hey, this is the day you were conceived. They, they knew, or at least my, the only thing I got from my mom who told me this is that it was probably on their anniversary cruise, which means that it was around their anniversary and on a weekend. The other two things that I knew is that I was two weeks late and that a pregnancy uh, is not exactly nine months, but in the Catholic faith, holy people are born exactly nine months before, I mean, after their conception, as well as they die normally on their conception day. So with that said, uh, I took my birthday, which is late June, went back nine months, which is in September. So I know that that's my parents' anniversary month. And I went back two weeks from my birthday, which brought me exactly to the same week of their anniversary. And so I went to the weekend following their anniversary, and I knew it was a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday cruise. So I chose Saturday. And... That's how I figured out my conception. I know people normally assume, like, don't like to think about it. And I don't think about it like that. To me, it's more of my soul coming into physical form. Uh, I'm more focused on that because souls are created at conception. So that is, so my soul, at least in my understanding of the church, my soul has been around for 34 years today. And that is why I like to celebrate it. And although I've always wanted to celebrate it for more presents, I've never gotten a present on my conception day. But what I do like to do is meditate, light some candles with prayers, burn some incense, and pray uh, to like recharge my soul. The Catholic Church doesn't word it like this, but certain all saints have power of intercession. So any person that died and went to heaven, you can call upon for their intercession. And they're always powerful. But on their feast day, which is the day of their death, where they entered into eternity, were reborn into eternity. With that said, those days are extra strong. And although I don't think I'm a saint, I like to treat my life in the same way we would treat holy people, meaning I like to meditate and do be spiritual and contemplative on my conception day. I like to uh, celebrate my baptism day in October. And I do little things. Like, for instance, my conception day is more interior I like to focus on my past year and just meditate, contemplate, see how I want to better myself, what I've done wrong and what I need to do. And then on my baptism day, I normally go to my mother church, which is the church that I was baptized at. And then my birthday, obviously, I used to celebrate it. Now I don't really like, I don't really have parties that much. But when I did, I would get presents and stuff like that. But when I grew up, I would start asking for stuff to donate. And I still do, but... Just with COVID, the past two years have been hard to get a party because I just don't feel comfortable hosting with COVID around. But that's a whole other story. With that said, I always celebrate people's death days as well. Uh, you can pray for the dead in from, from the night of Halloween uh, until eight days, until November 8th. And if you pray in a cemetery for the dead and you do certain things and you're Catholic, then you can release at least one soul a day from purgatory. Otherwise, you can partially help a soul out if you don't fulfill all those requirements. But with that said, you can also connect to those who have passed on spiritually on their death days. So my mamma, who is the closest person I've ever been to with in my life, uh, I like to really just light a candle. This is an old Jewish tradition, but lighting a candle on somewhere, someone's death day is a really old ritual going back to Judaism. And sometimes they give you candles at the funeral, which I had at one time. I don't know where they are anymore, but I still like to light a blessed candle. And with that said, if you want to figure out your uh, conception day, all you really need to do to get a guesstimation is ask your mother, like, the timing of the birth, and then just go back eight months and then change it based on the timing. Like, I was two weeks late, which I don't think they do that anymore, but I was two weeks late, so I went back two weeks, and then you at least have a week of a guess when it is, and then you can pick whatever day you want. For me, I had the benefit of knowing it was on a cruise for the anniversary and that the cruise was on a weekend. So I was blessed to at least have that enough detail to get it down to about three days. Uh, and I chose the middle. With that said, God bless and Hail Mary.